Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've got a super cute red and nude set of nails and I decided to incorporate some glitters and French tips and just make it quite nice and creative. So if you guys would like to see how I created that set, then just keep on watching. So as usual, I've already buffed my press on nails. Um, I applied some nail cleaner and now I'm just going in with a nice thin layer of base coat across all those nails and then popping it into the lamp for about 30 seconds. I just quickly wanted to mention that the colours on this video might be slightly off. So this was the first video I filmed once I got my new phone and I just couldn't figure it out. I, for some reason I ended up filming in 4K and the colours were off and it was just so horrible. So this is the best I could create. It's still not the worst video but it's not how I wanted it so please bear with me um the next videos will be 100% better because I already filmed them and they look better so sorry guys I hope you guys can bear with me on this video so firstly I used a glittery red color from Semilac and I popped that one onto the ring finger and now I'm going in with a red which I believe is a sexy red from Venelisa onto the thumb and then the rest of the fingers are going to be this nude color and it's from blue sky but i can't fully really remember the name because they don't actually have names they have like weird letters and things and it's a very long name so can't remember that one but if anyone would like to know i will probably have everything linked down in the description with links straight to the websites where you can buy them so yeah so i'm just popping all of that in and then i'm popping it into the lamp and then you will see me apply a second coat of all of those polishes on the nails with the quality not being as good as I wanted it to be, you guys can't actually see how beautiful that red shimmery colour is. Like guys, it's beautiful, it shines so much. Hopefully in my thumbnail pictures you guys are going to be able to see the real like, I don't know, shininess of it. And the real like true colours of it through my thumbnail. But honestly guys, it's so, 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 so beautiful. I've never, I've never really been like a massive red fan. I do like the colour red and I don't mind on my nails. But I've just never been a massive fan. For me, it's always pinks. Pinks on my nails are just my favourite. So the fact that I really love, so the fact that I really like a red and it's also a sparkly red, it's just crazy. I'm just, it really has to be good that I like it. <laughs> but yeah, right now you just need to apply in the second coat of everything. And then we're going to work on our little nail art. So the index finger and the pinky finger, we're going to apply a French tip we're using the red that we just used on the fan, which was the sexy red from Vanellisa. And then for the middle finger, I decided to matte it and everything else will actually be shiny and glossy. But for the middle finger, I decided to make it matte and then I decided to draw some lips using some red. And then before curing it, I ended up sprinkling some glitter on it. And that is basically what we'll be achieving on this set and that's what I'm going to show you. So right now they're all out of the lamp and I'm just quickly going to apply a top coat on the thumb and the glittery finger. And that's just because I finished the thumb and the ring finger and there'll be nothing else I'm going to do on it. So I just want to top it off just because whilst taking nails off and doing nail and all, on, you know, incorporating glitters and stuff, I'm, I'm always worried that I'm going to get stuff onto the nails and I'm going to put top coat on later and stuff is going to get stuck underneath so as soon as I'm done with a nail I like to instantly top it off put it in a lamp and then just basically have over and done with and not have to worry about it ever again <laughs> so they are getting put in the lamp in the moment but before that I'm going to quickly also apply a matte top coat on the middle finger and that's also because although it's not done I still need it matte before I apply the glitters because if you try to draw some lips on there, you incorporate some glitter into that nail and also then after at the end try and put some matte top coat. I wish you guys luck. I'm sure we would do it like that but it's so so hard for me so yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so right now I'm working on that pinky finger and don't be misled, this nail is going to be shiny. Just I ended up cutting out. I basically tried to do a French tip on this and it went horribly wrong. So I ended up taking it off and it created the nail and it made the nail look matte. So don't worry about it because it will be shiny. It's just because I wiped it with a nail cleaner and it became matte suddenly. But yeah, I'm just quickly drawing out my French tip and then I'm just filling in that French tip 
on the pinky finger and then we are going to try and achieve that exact same thing with the index finger so with french tips i always advise that you try and make them as symmetrical as possible i mean they don't have to be especially as for me in this case the pinky and the index finger are quite far from each other however if the nails are literally right next to each other it is a good practice to try and make them as similar as possible because otherwise you will be able to see with the tips and stuff but you know as long as you're semi there it'll be fine you won't be able to tell i'm pretty sure mine aren't even that identical but because of how far away they are um that you could just can't simply tell which is amazing so that's the pinky done i'm popping it back onto the stand and then i'm going to start working on the index finger with the french tip and it's the same process i usually do with french tips i like to create a dot where i want like the lowest part of the french to be when i draw it out and then i just like to start from the top and then connect to the middle bit that makes sense i hope you guys are able to see it what I'm doing on the video whilst I'm trying to explain because as usual I'm not the best at explaining I am trying to get a bit better and also the reason why I keep disappearing is because of the way I film my setup isn't the best and when it comes to like very precise lines that I gotta do I do try and show you guys as much as I possibly can on camera and then the moment it's getting too difficult I quickly come off do what I need to quickly do and come back on camera which is why I often just disappear I think I end up doing the same with the lips. I think just for the last lip I end up drawing. But to be honest, I'm actually proud of myself for the lips because I'm actually pretty sure I draw the lips on camera, which is very hard as well. But I managed. But with this French tip, oh goodness, I was struggling. I had to had to get off. But yeah, that's what the French tip looks like for the index finger. Looking really nice. And this is what the whole set looks like at the moment and then i'm popping those into the lamp and now i'm just quickly going in with a second coat of the red so as you can see the red is pretty opaque as it is but just for good measure i always do two coats of everything because you never know and also the previous five fingers that i've done were also two coats so sometimes i feel like oh you know what actually the other five fingers it, it looks fine like it looks so opaque it's gonna be fine like i don't have to do two coats but then when i compare the two the first five fingers to the other five fingers you can see a massive difference in in it being less opaque and everything so it's for good measure and if you have actually the first five fingers that you do you don't do two coats then just don't do two coats on the other one and it'll be symmetrical and the same you know but because i always do two coats i ended up doing two coats but yeah anyways now we're working on the middle finger so for the middle finger it's all matte and ready to go so we're just applying the red with our nail art brush and just drawing out some lips so i always like to start from the top lip i always do like a little line and then almost like two mountains at the top and then i fill that in and then i go in with another line underneath leaving a little gap and then drawing the bottom lip which is just like a half circle semi thing looking um, and then I fill that in and that's pretty much it But just make sure you guys don't pop that into the lamp before putting the glitter because once you pop it into the lamp You won't be able to put glitter on it and it won't stick um, Unless if you do that mistake what you could do is go over the red again So what you've just drawn now and it's cured go over it again with the red and then put some red glitter on it So that could save you guys if that happens to you guys and you completely forget but otherwise I would really recommend don't do it. That mistake is just going to create more like time for you to do it. And oh, it's just a pain. Just a pain. But yeah, I'm just creating all the lips. And I found this little pot that I thought would be perfect to like apply glitters in and not get the glitter everywhere and actually easily put the glitter back into the pot because of those little corners. Um, so yeah, that really worked well. So if anyone has one of these little like cardboard little pots, then that would be actually quite cool for you guys to use it that way too. But yeah, I'm just applying that glitter and then shaking off as much as I can, popping it into the lamp. And then after that, we're going to try and scrape off as much glitter as possible. But before that, we're going to quickly top coat the two French tips that we have. And whilst those are in the lamp, we're going to work on that lip finger. 
So with the lip finger, what I wanted to do is take a brush, any brush, and just start scraping off as much of that glitter as possible that didn't add to cure into the gel. So as you can see already, it looks much more cleaner. And then, because the glitter wasn't as fine as I wanted it to be, you can see that where the top lip and bottom lip, that gap between the two um, pieces of the lip, basically, it's like not very clear that there is a gap here and there. So using a little tool, I was just going in and just making it clear and just scraping off the glitter which was very easy because obviously there was no gel there so that you know the glitter didn't add to cure into anything so it was just kind of stuck there <laughs> so i was just doing that and then clearing out the shapes and as you can see also the top some of the top lip pieces were like sticking out and not making the shape too you know clear so i was just also scraping that off and just making it nice and neat and also here and there also using that brush and scraping off the glitter the excess glitter and that was pretty much it for that set Here's the final results. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.